Goosebumps is rated GB7 because it may be too spooky for children under seven. Hello, folks. I am back finally to do a Goosebumps video. This Goosebumps video is another rant video, folks, because, oh my gosh, really, it's... Uh, let me, let, let's, just, let's just ask a question. When you hear Q1 of a year, Q1 basically means the first three months, correct? So, that's what he said when it came to the Goosebumps app. The Goosebumps app, Goosebumps Horror Town. We still don't have it in freaking United States of America, and yet, it's past Q1. It's past Q1. This is really getting very, very bullcrap. I'm just calling, I'm just talking to you guys, you fans out there, because for me, I take it or leave it for you know, them actually being there. I don't really have a tablet at this point that actually is doing good because if I did, I almost like it would be playing some Simpsons Tap Out, even though it's already the end. Still got to do a video on that one. Oh, so anyways, here is just some fun parts because I'm just gonna do this. Number one is that demons and chaos are spelled wrong when it comes to Slappy Pocket, though. Weird, weird. That's kind of weird. It's like, wow, you guys did typos here. And it turns out that the new update, you got a scarometer, and you now have instructions for the scarometer, and you have instructions for Treasure Dealer. And they upgraded. They're all upgraded. And also, they upgraded the whole, the monsters are coming out, so they're still working on the game. Apparently, it's not perfect for Americans and everyone else who doesn't have the app right now, the ones who do have the app, it's okay for them and they can improve it and apparently the consumers that's over there apparently don't really give a care about them because well if they did then wouldn't they have everything all finished up right quick that means everyone has to release so you can actually upgrade it I don't understand what's going on here they really should have it already done it should be already released and everyone should actually be having a good time and here's the crazy part. Here's the crazy debacle. Apparently, they actually had an Easter event. Yeah, I know. So, if it's not released worldwide, why the hell are you having an Easter event right now? Because I'm pretty sure if you're going to have an Easter event or an event of any kind, why the hell isn't worldwide yet? That's pretty messed up. That's really pretty damn messed up. So, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on here. I mean, Sony's being a bastard. Well, Sony is getting better now. The good news is that Sony is kind of getting better on Goosebumps. They do have merchandise, but right now we don't really have enough to do merchandise for the new movie. But they do have merchandise that they can do for the old movie. And I think they should capitalize right now on the old movie before the new movie comes out. But I don't know. I don't freaking know. So with all that said, man, shoot, this freaking app should be coming out right now. The comic, I have no idea what's going on with the comic. We really need to have somebody to do a coverage of the Goosebumps comic. And I tried my best to get one half that used to be D83 to actually give the comics a chance, but instead he decides to continue on with movie reviews. No offense, I'm not, I'm not calling him a piece of trash. I'm not calling him a jerk. I'm just saying... Used to do Goosebumps reviews. You have this Goosebumps comic. It's only one to two issues in. You could actually do a review on it, man. It's like, what? Four bucks is too much? I think chances are four bucks is a decent sacrifice. I mean, I really need somebody who actually can do the review of the Goosebumps comic book. I really would like to stay into it and understand what's going on. And, of course, hey, you could talk about Goosebumps number one Ozzy fan, but I'm like, he's busy, man. He He's busy doing what he needs to do or whatever. So, we just need somebody out there who actually is like, I'm going to do it. And would I actually do it if I could? Yeah, I most likely would. Yeah, I would. The only messed up part is, well, considering what's going on with copywriting and bullcrap, I personally would not want to stick my head out because if I do... Yeah, because of Power Rangers right now. 
yeah, right now, it's not really being good for me. Oh, well, anyways, yeah, that's basically it. It's just a rant on how the frick is the app not out yet. You said Q1 of 2018, and here we are still doing that. Yeah, I could actually go to their um, Facebook app. I mean, Facebook um, page. I could do that. On the other hand, nah, because, well, if you think about it, the person who is still doing the videos and being like, this is what they have, this is what they have that's brand new and stuff, you would figure he would actually continue the coverage also of, well, apparently they rolled back the app. It's stupid, man. It really getting is stupid. I mean, they said the app would be out in Halloween 2017. And as you can see, it's past Halloween 2017. And then you moved it to Q1 of 2018. So, let me guess, you moved it again? It's like, come on, how much time do you still have to do to make the game complete before we can actually play it? I don't think it has to be perfect. I think it's fine as it is right now. You already screwed everyone over where it's like, yeah, you used to be able to make that scarometer shy. You used to be able to make it go very fast, and now they made it to the point of where it's like, nope, it takes a long time to race that scarometer to get those goosebumps bucks. Like, that's really bullshit. It's like, that's really bullshit. But fine, whatever, man. Just, just release the app for everyone already. Release the app for the people who actually want to play and who actually wants to enjoy the Goosebumps experience. Release the app for them. 